of course, continues to wrap its arms around the Pelletier family. And people really keep showing us what it means to be Southington strong. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon is live there tonight as a community mourns and pays their respects. Dylan. Well, Mark, Aaron, a very tough day here. We're along Route 10 in Southington. This is where the procession began this morning as it led to the capital city in Hartford. Plenty of support here on the sidewalk. People watching, people in tears. It was a very emotional morning here. Plenty of physical support, but also in the form of donations. More than $530,000 donated to the family. As the hearse carrying trooper Aaron Pelletier's body leaves town, a police officer salutes a fellow brother. This woman places her hand on her heart. Another wipes away a tear. It's a heartbreaking morning. Painful images of a first responder eventually heading to his final resting place. He not only killed a man, he killed a Connecticut State Trooper. This community is dejected, wounded, but it's also resilient. This memorial keeps growing. Pat Egan is dropping off an American flag and a donation to Pelletier's family. He's never going to be able to see his son, you know, grow up. How do you explain to two young kids their father is gone? Stephen Casillas lives nearby. He watched the touching procession, saying he had to be here to pay his respects. These men and women um, put their lives in, in, in harm's way, and it's just a very special uh, very special thing that they do, and I, I'm very thankful and uh, grateful to them. The notes are beautiful. 19-year-old Anya wrote, you will be missed. She's been struck by family tragedy before and knows what the Pelletiers are feeling. He's just looking down on you from heaven. I just felt, like, horrible. Like, I'm like, he doesn't, like, deserve to die. Like, he doesn't deserve that. Now back outside the funeral home here in Sullington, plenty of American flags still here in support for Trooper Pelletier. And that memorial you saw, Mark and Aaron, that's been here for about a week is now being cleaned up right now by state police. They just told me uh, there's supposed to be some rain tomorrow. They want to preserve all the flowers and everything else that was put here over the last week or so and give it to the Pelletier family in great condition. So state police clean that up right now here off Route 10. We're live in Sullington tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dylan.